All right, so this slide also goes back to the stuff we were kind of learning in solubility. And remember how when something dissolves, it gets surrounded by water molecules. And um, this diagram is great for showing it. You can see that all these huge ions, the negative and positive, so the negative green ones and the blue positive ones, they get separated by the water molecules getting in between them and having their own kind of interactions with them, which we'll get to later. We don't have to go over that now, but the point is is that the ions separate when they're put into a solution. Um, and the fact that these ions separate, it means that there's now all these charges in solution. And the fact that charge can move around and electrons are free to pass through it means that it can conduct electricity. So we're not gonna get really into electricity. That's a whole nother discussion. But um, just the fact that the ions can move around and the electrons are free to, to pass through because electricity is electrons. Um, yeah, that's what makes it allowed to conduct. Um, so if you think about it, if it's in a solid form, it's not gonna conduct electricity because the, the electrons are fixed. Like they're in these really tight interactions. If you look to the left, like they're very squeezed in there, like really comfortable. So those electrons aren't committed to pa like those aren't free moving electrons. Like they're like, in a structure so uh, so that's why you just plain old salt you stick like you can't make a ba like a battery or like light a light bulb remember that thing that steve did for some of you guys maybe that he they he lit light bulbs with different solutions um that's what that was all about but yeah cool let's see if there's another slide oh that's it